Hey everyone, it's Dev here and welcome to Vox Machina Overview. Finally, after two months we were starting to get some full releases on the store. I was thinking that Meta already abandoned the gaming part of the quest, but thank god March will bring some fun stuff. I feel like every overview now I have a story to tell. <laughs> it's not my fault there's always something connecting in my life with the games that I play. Back when I was too small and playing on my PS1, I used to be obsessed with two mecha games that I was playing at the time. The first Armored Core and Front Mission 3. I pretty much grew up playing this and the my love for robotics in general. That's pretty much why I went to college for it. And those kind of actiony strategy turn based titles really stuck with me. I believe Front Mission is still playable. It's like a legendary game at this point. And it's so interesting that it's going in full circle and I'm gonna be able to personally control a robot in VR. So Vox Machina is an action adventure mech game where we put in the grinders and fight with the enemies set in the various worlds all across the galaxy. I didn't do much research, but I know that this title isn't necessarily new. Apparently, it's been in early access forever and only playable in the multiplayer scenarios but with Questland we're actually getting a full-on campaign which I'm the most excited for because I'm that person. On the first glance it looks just amazing. Of course the trailer is set with PC graphics and we're gonna do classically quest overview and virtual desktop playthrough. Think is that with my experience in that genre it's not really that the graphics matter but the actual gameplay, the fluidity, if we will be able to customize the mechs, the whole feeling of freedom and being a part of the world is really what makes the experience like that special. I'm already placing high bets that this is gonna be a very good release for Quest. It feels like it's been ages that we've got a playable single player of that scale and it's just exciting, especially in the period of literal uneventfulness in the VR space. Let's go to the battlefield! Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. We can pick a character model, it even moves your mouth. But well, I guess I'm white trash after all, so yeah. <laughs> the graphics so far for quest capabilities, this is not bad at all. Like, I can see some blurriness, but in the grand scheme of things, really well done. We'll see outside how it's gonna look like, but I think we'll do campaign first. Maybe if you'll have time in multiplayer a few minutes after. But I'm really excited to pilot this. <laughs> I think everything Gucci in the settings, just the smooth locomotion is there, subtitles. Let's go. So, you're looking for a story, eh? I've got a few of those under my belt. <laughs> you can't be a captain without having a good story to tell. So, I used to fly a transport ship for Horizon Corporate. You know Horizon Corporate, right? Small mining company that had a license to mine in the server system. I worked with their security team, shuttling them around from planet to planet. We went where the trouble was, except there was never much trouble. That was until one day when a new pilot joined the mining crew on Topaz. And that was me, probably. <laughs> Welcome to your first game mining for Horizon Corporate. My name is Bolu, basic logical human engine. I am a trial AI, buddy that Horizon Corporate is testing on randomly selected employees. My purpose is to ensure that you meet your daily production code by any means necessary. Once you arrive on the surface of planet Topaz, further instructions will be given. <laughs> This is so exciting, especially for me, it's like, just nostalgic. You can even like, pull the panels and stuff. Wow. Corporate has requested that you demolish an unstable rough formation for training purposes. Whoa! Oh, that was <laughs> ejection. <laughs> I did click it before, or maybe it's like bugged out. I think I have to restart the game altogether. God damn it. This is an important task to master in order to have as few catastrophic accidents as possible. Do you wish to proceed with basic training to learn how to operate your grinder? Good choice. Training prevents future failure, and Horizon Corporate does not accept failure. We will proceed to the rock. 
the demolition location has been placed on your radar, which can be found in the bottom left corner of your cockpit. Mm hmm. The large white circle shows the location of objectives. Follow the large white circle on your radar to the demolition location. If you ever forget what your current objective is, the screen on the bottom right of your cockpit will tell you what to do next. This is the turning stick. Grab the joystick and turn it left or right to steer your grinder. Turn toward the location of the unstable rock. <laughs> Stop. We are in the right direction. Okay. <laughs> this is your throttle. Grab the throttle and move it forwards or backwards to control your speed while moving on the ground. <gasps> move toward the unstable rock now. It's like driving a car. <laughs> I mean, technically, I'm not wrong. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's interesting that we don't control your own joystick on the controller. This some manual shit <laughs> oh wow yeah the environments don't look that bad the screen on the upper right panel of your cockpit displays your grinder's range of mining tools and weapons this screen shows the weapon type that is currently equipped, and which group the weapon belongs to. Aim at the rock and press left trigger. Your weapons became hot while in use. If your weapons overheat, they will enter an automated shutdown until they cool completely. Take care to not let that happen. A satisfactory perform. You have performed menial labor for the company. Head to the mine to begin your 16 hour shift. 16 hours? Your partner Donnie is already contributing to his daily quota. This is Frank, Horizon Security Commander. I see you're back from getting your AI buddy fitted. Hopefully, the post installation brain fog hasn't hit you too hard. Because I need you to check on our delivery driver, Joe. He hasn't arrived with his shipment yet, and he might have gotten stuck somewhere. It's on the way to your mining station. A missing shipment could mean a loss of company profit, which makes this a priority. The location of Joe is on your radar. Uh -huh. Get there immediately and locate the missing shipment. You can make up your quota later with mandatory overtime. Damn, the scale of just the world is crazy. There's like freedom, you can do whatever, you can go here, you can just turn. The radar is located in the bottom left hand corner of your cockpit. The large white circle indicates Joe's look. It looks like Joe is sleeping on the job again. Give him a honk to wake him up. Where? I was just making sure that this um, shipment was stable before transporting it. Sure. You know, safety first, as I always say. Incoming call from base. Hey, pilot. This is Frank again. Listen, I have reports your partner Donnie has been causing some trouble. Would you mind checking on him? Donnie is located at our designated mining location. We should not have to make a detour. Settle the problem with Donnie and resume your goal to meet the production quota. But where? Is this like the... Not T-shaped, I don't know what's the... Thing... I love that we have so many like manual things. Normally everything we would have on the controller with just the buttons and stuff. Here you actually have to grab some stuff and then things work. Which is very interesting. Not that common nowadays. Location has been placed on your radar. Get there now. What's going on there? Donnie's <laughs> location has been placed on your radar. Get 
Climb. <laughs> I feel like it would be more enjoyable sitting down because my hands are in the air. Hello? No, 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 stop. <laughs> oh. oh, look who finally decided to show up. My tardy mining partner. I've been working my fingers to the bone thanks to you. Danny, please be more careful with your laser. You almost killed me. What the? Whoops. Hey. <laughs> it was an accident. But he totally deserved it. You saw how annoying that driver was? He was telling me how to do my job. Come back here. You would have done the same thing. Why do I have to work with all these people who disrespect me? I have a right to blow up things that annoy me. Kill him. I'll show them who is boss. Security commander has been informed of this incident. What in the blazes is Donnie doing? Is he attacking the refining station? Okay. I'm not really supposed to do this, but I've given you authorization to operate a laser for combat purposes. Use it to destroy one of Donnie's arms. Arms? Oh, okay. Well done, pilot. Donnie is now slightly hindered. I've disabled your weapon, so just keep following him while I think of something. No! He will escape. I wanted this stupid job to begin with. I'm only here because I have to do mandatory community service since, apparently, ejecting someone out of an airlock is considered murder! <laughs> well, he's completely correct. Pilot, keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't cause any more property damage. Oh, we can just let go, okay. Don't worry, we'll have corporate sort him out when he's done his rampage. And you, Frank! You're next! After I'm done turning everything to dust out here, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna make you watch as I drink all of your precious imported tea. Okay, I think it's fair to classify this as an emergency. <laughs> Follow him, pilot. Keep... <laughs> for the love of the minimum wage workers, Donny. Did you see that explosion? Who needs workplace conflict resolution when you have lasers? <laughs> Blowing up co-workers rocks. Take that HR mediation. Where are you going? Now he's figured out how to jump. Uh. If you are still struggling with post installation brain fog, I will instruct you on how to use the jump jets. Come on, fast. Would you like to have a detailed explanation on using the jump jets? Don't we have a fast version? Sure. In order to perform jump, your grinder requires fuel. Your fuel empties when the jump jets are in use and regenerates automatically when the jump jets are not in use. This is your jump stick. Grab the jump stick and pull up to use your jump jets to fly upwards. Okay. Grab the jump stick and move it around to move forward, backward, and side to side. Use your jump jets to follow Donnie. Hey, Ow! <laughs> Not like I meant to kill those people. It was an accident. How the blazes did Donnie get so far ahead of you? He's piloting a dredge. It's literally the slowest grinder in existence. Got it. Keep up with him. Flying Max, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. We can just skip the long distances like that. I'm here. Hey there, miner. Thanks for the help, but I'll take it from here. Huh? All right, Donnie, it's over. You're going to come with me, okay? You know something, Reggie? I never liked you. <gasps> Eat plasma, you corporate minion! 
Can I help? Yeah, they all sorted out then. <laughs> well, there goes our most seasoned security officer. Pilot, I've activated your full range of weaponry. Blast Donnie into orbit. Don't listen to anything Frick says. He's a corporate shill. Hey, I told you not to listen to him. I'm warning you. Style points. <laughs> uh oh. Are you supposed to be a threat? Did he destroy our arm? Damn it. What now? Come back here. You are not wrong. <laughs> no. Damn. What now? Ah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Just try and stop me. Okay, it's on my shoulder. No. Damn, it's not easy. <laughs> oh, we were starting from here. Okay, that's kind of sad. <laughs> Damn, how I failed it, even in the tutorial. I think it's just because I'm not like used to the mech gameplay at all. It's also pretty slow paced, but realistically, that's how it should be. Let me do the multiplayer. I'll fail there as well. So we can actually modify like, you know, your arms, weaponry. I'm gonna get into it later because there's a lot of things going on. Are you trying to boost into me? And, oh, I'm in a, I'm in a, I hit a wall. <laughs> okay. Does that mean we team real people or what? Yeah, that's real people, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like uh, on radar, like the um, filled out circles are real people. Circles with just like a line uh box. JC, yeah, she pushed me down. Help! We're at war. Right, I've, I've killed one. One's dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm on fire. Is I can't tell my system I'm blind, I'm literally blind. But my system is shut down, like... I'm back on, I'm back on line, I'm back on... I don't know the missiles, like, contributed to heat. Alright, another blue objective. Bernie, I'm right beside you. Right. I mean, I also don't really know what the goal of this game is, but um, it's definitely I connected just win. to like shooting those. Yeah, yeah, we should win. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I, I can agree. <laughs> um, but there's only one minute left, so it's probably just like shoot each other until we win. Oh, imagine capture the flag and stuff like this. That'd be amazing. What's like the woman in the top left? The robot thing. What's all that about? Because right now you can't see it because you can see me. It's my girlfriend. Alright, sorry. Sorry for the disrespect. This AI waifu in his mic. <laughs> Fantasy. Salvage is destroyed. Alright, Northwest robot. Yeah. Actually, they're all north. Keep on trying to grab the turnstick. 
hitting the microphone. Shit. Okay, I have no yeah. idea. Yeah, there's a lot of going on, but I love it. It's definitely gonna be a thing of just learning process and knowing when to move the overheat system. I don't think I've seen that complicated game in a long time on Quest. So that's purely because it's a port of a PC VR one. I actually can't wait to see this whole thing with upgraded graphics on the virtual desktop. It's gonna be amazing. I think I'm just gonna be sitting down for it. I'm literally that position in the cockpit, so why not in real life? I don't think I have a lot of notes, just things are a little bit slow for my taste, but that might be specific to the genre. There were some bugs in the beginning, but ultimately the experience is very enjoyable for me. Yeah, can't wait to continue it later on. <laughs>